Hello there, I'm Teresa LaBarbera, and you're watching Connecticut Style. Coming up today, it's a local fashion event like no other. Local designers under the direction of Emmett McCarthy, a designer featured on Project Runway Season 2, are putting the final touches on their creations for Project Style, a fashion show to benefit Liberty Community Services. And the Sarah Foundation fosters independence and helps those with disabilities live life to the fullest. We'll hear more about their terrific organization in just a bit. But Steve, we're cooking Look Italian in the kitchen. Oh, you know it. I, I actually actually had to, to wrestle Teresa for this one. I'm in the kitchen with Chef Silvio Supa. And of course, I'm here with Anthony Riccio. And actually, uh, the chef is the owner of Cafe Allegra and Woodwinds and Italian historian Anthony Riccio. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> chef, you're the best. Thank you, Thank you so much for coming in. Nice what are we going to be uh, whipping up here in the kitchen today? Well, we're going to be making, we start from uh, an appetizer. Uh -huh. We're going to make uh, um, a mozzarella caprese yeah. with brezaola. Yeah. And also, we're going to make uh, um, the filet rossini. Oh, filet uh, rossini. Yeah, filet rossini, it which sings. is an old classic one. Oh. And, and, and for, uh, for dessert, we have a creme brulee. Uh, creme brulee? Yes. Okay, well, maybe tea, you'll get a chance to eat some of this, but I might be finishing up on my own. Gentlemen, take a look into that camera right over there, and from your heart, with that Italian flair, tell the folks at home what you'd like them to do. <laughs> Sit back and relax. And yeah, you are having laundry with style. If you're between the ages of 40 and 85, call 1-800-557-1100 now to find out more about Funeral Advantage. The average funeral costs over $9,000, but the most government benefits will pay your family is only $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to learn how Funeral Advantage helps protect your loved ones. It pays up to $20,000 cash immediately for funeral and any other expenses. You must be age 40 to 85 to qualify. It's easy. No physical examination is necessary. And coverage starts as soon as you're accepted. To get free information about Funeral Advantage, call 1-800-557-1100 now. With Funeral Advantage, your rates will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and your plan cannot be canceled. You'll also get a free planning guide to help carry out your wishes, so everything is done just as you'd want them to be. Funeral Advantage pays up to $20,000 cash to your family when they need it most. To get free information about Funeral Advantage and its benefits, call 1-800-557-1100 now. There's no obligation. Call now. You know, throughout the entire day, people are constantly stopping me. It drives me crazy. And they say, Steve, here you are on television on Connecticut style, so you've got to be styling all the time. You're with, <laughs> obviously, the most beautiful woman who's on Connecticut television. Oh, She's wow. always styling. I get up every morning a little before 5. I always turn on Teresa doing the traffic, and I have to find out what the heck she's wearing. And then I have to try to, <laughs> you know, style. I have to kind of catch... You're a nice uh, guy, Steve. How did I do Thanks. today? You were. It looks great. Navy okay. blue, navy blue, purple. Well, remember, I thought it was black, and, I was, and, you, and you said no. Oh, it's navy no, it's blue. Navy. That's right. Now, now, you now, look who, sharp. Who are you wearing today? Oh, this this is uh, Maggie May by Susie Chin. See that? All right. Local, but anyway, <laughs> local artists, models, and designers are donating their time and talent for Project Style. It's a local fashion event to raise money for Liberty Community Services. That's an agency dedicated to ending homelessness. Joining us now are Emmett McCarthy, a designer featured on Project Runway Season Two, and John Bradley, the executive director of Liberty Community Services. Welcome. What is Project Style all about? Well, this is an event that started about four years ago, and we connected with Emmett, who grew up in New Haven, and we tried to get attention to our cause by um, connecting with designers and models to do a fashion show. And it started out very informal, and we've raised the bar every year, and this year it's going to knock it out of the park. And it's a fundraiser to call attention to the issue of homelessness in New Haven. Now, Emmett, we have to mention that you're on Project Runway, which is so cool, so you're really an expert in all this. Well, this is me now turning it around and me being the mentor. Okay. So I'm working with 25 designers from 
Connecticut, mm -hmm. and each of them bring their design sketches, and then we had a whole process that was really interesting, that we worked together with fit models, and we saw fabrics, we So this shaped, is from A to Z we're starting, a to Z, right? A to Z. So, you know, I, you start with some sketches, and you wind up with a finished product, and the transformation is magnificent. I think we're looking at some sketches right now. Yes, uh, uh, these are the sketches of some of the things that I didn't want to give away the whole surprise, but uh, these are a few that are highlighted in the show. But each designer will have one dress, and each of them is a fantasy of what they think the theme spring fantasy is. Ah, I see, so they're sticking to that. I they're get it. They're sticking to that, yes. Now we have, I think we have some pictures from uh, last year's show too, because uh, uh, yeah, there we are, right there. That's, this is the preparation. These are the models who are all volunteers for us. They really give their time and you know donate their talent. And so this is the prep time. That's Emmett directing the models. And, <laughs> right you know, in the show there, <laughs> huh? Control. And and, and uh, this year I understand Sonia Baghdadi is going to be the host. Oh, right? she looks like she did it last yeah. year too. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> she's she, everywhere. Oh, she's amazing. So how do we choose the winners? How's that going to happen? You know. It's like looking at a beautiful bouquet of flowers okay. and saying which one is the most beautiful. Because mm -hmm. they're all so pretty, mm -hmm. right? You know, it's going to be a very big challenge. All right. And you don't know until you actually see the finished product mm -hmm. and how the model is in the dress. And it's like a, it's going to be a, a performance in itself. All right. Well, I'm, I don't want to wait any longer because I'm a guy that wants to see the models. <laughs> bring we, the models let's, let's out. Let's bring the models out, please. Emmett, what are we looking at? These are uh, design, your designs. Yes, and uh, basically, I didn't want to give the show away, so I brought what I, the philosophy of the spring colors and silhouettes that are current today. Uh, I have a boutique in New York City. Ooh la la, I love that bright color. Wow. Yeah, that with color contrast. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what are, are we, we're seeing bright colors for springtime? All time? bright colors, yes. Woo! That the turquoise, is. everyone looks great in turquoise. Turquoise back. Turquoise is back. It goes yeah. with your shirt. Yeah. And color blocking is very in. Ah, oh, wow. Lovely. Now tell us a little bit about this yellow item that's coming up. Well, yellow is back. Yeah. You know, it's another bright color. I think a lot of the 70s colors are back in. And everyone looks great in salmon, especially with the tan. Yes. Just Look at that. Tea, tea, tea. Ooh, this is you. Oh, super pretty. I this love that. I love that. I love the material. And where can people buy your clothing? Well, these are available in my boutique in New York City and also online. Okay. Very nice. And I think we should mention just some of the other things that Liberty does for the community. Well, um, Liberty has been around for over 25 years in New Haven, and our objective is to end homelessness. And we provide permanent housing and outreach to people who have been homeless. And, you know, we connect with something you know, that's a very difficult issue with something and try to connect it to something beautiful and a very uplifting. And it's a great contribution of people in the community to address a serious problem in New Haven. Um, and, you know, we, we use all the money we raise to continue the work that we're doing, which is to outreach to people and bring them into housing. I think also when people become homeless, the last thing that they have is their personal style. And we're creating all of this to sort of help maintain their dignity and their personal great. style. I love it. Let's put the information up on the screen and take a look. About the, this is a, a great, great event. Fun Night Out that goes to a great cause. Project Style Fashion Show and Fundraiser. It's happening May 9th from 5.30 to 8 o'clock at the New Haven Lawn Club. For more information, go to libertycs.org. Gentlemen, thank you so Thanks much for so being much. here. Models, you all are Ladies, gorgeous. Ladies, thank you for adding some style. Up next, Mother's Day meal that's fit for a queen. I'll meet you in the kitchen right after the break. two of you playing me against the other. I'm gonna kill him. ABC's Revenge, all new tonight, 10, 9 central.
Before Allegra, my allergy medicine took hours to work or made me drowsy. After Allegra, I have the only one that's both fast and non-drowsy. It relieves my toughest symptoms for 24 hours, effective even at eight times high pollen levels. After Allegra, I have it all. At Amica, we know that different people have different reasons for choosing auto insurance. I'm always looking for a great price. I'm a value connoisseur. Customer service, that's my sweet spot. It's got to be someone you trust. No matter how you decide, call 877-35-AMICA for a free auto insurance quote. At Amica, we listen and we focus on what you need and you could save hundreds of dollars. Value isn't just a good price. Amica worked with me to find the best coverage and I've always heard great things about their claim service. If you want to be a satisfied customer, pick a company that's known for customer satisfaction. I did my homework on Amica and they get A++ ratings for financial strength year after year. When I called, they found discounts I didn't even know I qualified for. So no matter what you're looking for from auto insurance, I wanted a company I could count on to save money, to be treated like gold, all of the above. Call 877-35-AMICA for your free no obligation quote. You could save hundreds by switching to Amica. So call Amica now. Hey, Teresa, I'm in La Cucina Italiana. Hey, I got it. I love Italian. You want to make this Mother's Day memorable? Treat your mother, or maybe yourself, to Chef Silvio's culinary delights at Cafe Allegra in Madison or Woodwinds in Brantford. Joining me right now is executive chef and owner Silvio Suppa and Italian historian Anthony Riccio. How are you? Nice to see nice you. To be my here. paisans, my gumbas. Nice to see you. <laughs> it's so nice of you to come here today. Yeah, now tell us a, a little bit. You know, you, you, you've got a book out here. You're going to be cooking here. Tell us a little bit, if you could, Anthony, about the, about the book and how you got how you got this special relationship with Silvio? Well, I got to know Silvio because it, we, we went, we, we just were interested in the same things. I came from the same background he did. His, his relatives are about 20 miles from where my grandparents came from in the old country. So we went back to Italy, we researched this book, and what we found was that, uh, that it was really the women who brought this cuisine to, to, to American shores, and it was, it was because the women, they were the, they were the athletes of the kitchen. They were the ones who nurtured us. They were the heart of the family. Uh, they were the, they were even at times, they were even the breadwinners. But, but the, the, the cuisine, this great cuisine, this Italian cuisine that everyone loves so much, came from the women. Yeah. And the story in the book is that Silvio learned from his grandmother. You learned from your grandmother? Mm -hmm. What yeah. was her name? Carmela. Carmela. <laughs> what, do you remember what the first thing was that she taught you to cook way yes, back when? Yes, yes. Uh, it was a uh, chicken soup. Chicken soup? Chicken soup with pastina. And how old were you then? I was nine years old. Nine years old, right, <laughs> right there at your grandma's knee. Now, what, what are you going to be cooking for us today, Chef? Today we'll be making uh, tornador rossini, which is a filet mignon with uh, red bordelaise sauce and uh, foie gras, the, the duck li liver pate. Uh, for an appetizer, we're making uh, uh, fresh mozzarella with uh, brezzaola oh. uh, <laughs> and a creme brulee for, uh, for dessert. Oh, my God. Creme with some fresh berries on it. All right, well, I'm going to let you, I'm going to, I, I've been warned repeatedly to not get too close to you when you're doing this. Okay. <laughs> I wish you would start, so our, our guests are actually going to be joining us at the end of the program, and okay. you can see a couple of them creeping up already. Okay. Yeah, Teresa's not too far away, trust me. She's like, this is my favorite restaurant, I can't wait to be, I said, Teresa, I'm doing this segment. All right, if you, if you could, uh, take, give us a little bit of uh, Italian history as the chef cooks over there, if you would, Anthony. Well, from my research, from the things that I've been working on, I'm, I'm writing a book right now called uh, farms, factories, and families, Italian women of Connecticut, yeah. Italian American women of Connecticut. And what I found was, and what I'm learning is that the women were really the glue in Italian culture. They really were the people that held the family together through the ages. And when they got to this country, they, I think they, 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 they learned so many things. They learned how to handle money. They, they're the ones who bought all the houses. They're the ones who saved all the money. They managed the family economy. But they also learned uh, how to cook. Uh, and with, li with little, mm -hmm. with, with scarce resources. And they were often the difference between starvation and survival in the old country. So when they got here, they found a whole new world with all these delights and all these opportunities. And they, and they grew, they flourished, the women flourished. But it's a story that's never been told before because they were the power behind the throne. They were the, usually the quiet ones. They let the husbands do all the, all the talking, but behind the scenes, they were really the ones who ran things. Yeah, but did you ever see the look? I've seen the look. You've i got a lot of friends that have, have Italian mothers and grandmothers. All it, all it took was one look. All it was, one look. That's right. You know, it's a lot. 
spoke volume. <laughs> a, a little bit. I know you know. Give us a little bit of the history because I think the chef's history with cooking in New Haven is really something. So if you can give us a little bit of his sure. background. Sure. So what, what Silvio Subic, when he came over here in the late 60s and he had this, he had learned this wonderful cuisine, cuisine from his grandmother. You have to remember this, this cuisine developed over hundreds if not thousands of years of evolution, yeah. Yeah. passed on from woman to woman to woman. Yeah. So when he got to New Haven, he opened up Delmonico's oh. on Worcester Street. It's and he, he, well, he, he knocked them dead and yeah. he became the standard of, of, of Italian restaurants because he brought the real, real cuisine to, to the street. And it's, it was it was the main gathering point for for so many people. Everybody everybody it's knew history. everybody knew Delmonico's. And of course, did. the chef has two great places right now. And uh, tell us a little bit about Cafe Allegra. I open. I understand on Mother's Day they're going to be open at noon to six. Tell noon us to a little six, bit about that's Allegra. Correct. They have, well, they're going to have a special dinner for for, for Mother's. Day. They'll have their regular their regular uh, fare, but they'll also have some special dishes, especially prepared for mothers for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. But it's it's got the same warmth as Delmonico's. Uh, it was the, it's got the same kind of. Uh, feeling when you walk in there, you walk in there, Silvio, and there's, there's his wife, Vittoria, who welcome you. It's, it's, uh, it's all from the heart. Now what, now, what about Woodwinds? I mean, that is really something. How about a little bit about that? Well, Woodwinds is, a, is another gathering point where there's, you know, it, it, it's, it's won all sorts of awards for their weddings. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people come from mm -hmm. far and wide to, to, to eat there. It's, it's a wonderful place. Well, what are they, but they're doing something special for Mother's Day. What this are they going to be doing there? On Mother's Day, they're, again, they're going to have a special, a special mm -hmm. menu. Like a, a special, big feast. A, and, and there's special, and the, yes, the, the, the point is call ahead. Make reservations now because it fills up really fast. I would imagine. Because everyone you, wants to get in there. Can you smell that? If we yeah. had smell a vision you guys would be licking the uh, edge of your television set right now. This is really? unbelievable. <laughs> uh, yeah. and if you, uh, now, if you want the recipe, you can come to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style. The, uh, the creme brulee is going to be on. The, the recipes are, are amazing, and they will be on, on WTNH.com. Click on Connecticut Style. And if you want to check out Cafe Allegre in Madison, the phone number is... 203-245-7773 or Woodwinds Bank with Facility in Brantford. You can call 203-481-6577. We're going to check back because they've got a lot of people here that want to sample this food. All right, so what we're going to do is, you see all those models? They're really hungry. <laughs> They've already been nibbling around here. I saw them up here before we shot this segment, so they're anxious. Good. We've got the folks from Sarah's Foundation. They're going to be up next, and Good. they want to have something to eat. Great. And our crew has already somehow gotten a hold of some of his food. So. so <laughs> You will not believe it. Coming up next, we're going to talk about Sarah Foundation, the Spring Gala, when Connecticut style returns. You're going to love it. An East Haven man determined to rebuild a war memorial in his neighborhood. What, what would it mean to you to see that recreated? Oh my God, I, I, I jump for joy. Last summer, we started helping him spread the word to potential donors. And now we're happy to see his dream come true. His vision turned into reality because News 8 had his back. You think we helped? Oh, most certainly. Who's got your back? News 8. I could find 50 reasons to avoid going to the dentist, but not a single reason to go. I never smiled and I pretty much had stopped talking. My dentures just weren't fitting right anymore. When I got up to a tube of denture cream a week, I said, enough. I went to Aspen Dental. They're amazing. And I'm getting a lot more compliments on my smile. Right now, dentures start at $249. Plus, no interest for 18 months on quality dentures and dental care. Call 1-800-ASPEN Dental. Aspen Dental is going to take good care of you. Want a great-looking, carefree lawn? Get proactive by improving your soil with Jonathan Green Organics. At the very root, Jonathan Green Organics create the ideal conditions to fight off insects and disease from the inside out. Apply MagiCal to balance your soil, rejuvenate your lawn with our organic lawn fertilizer, and stop weeds before they sprout with our organic weed control. Choose Jonathan Green Organics for the best and safest lawn in town. Naturally, available at your local hardware store or garden center. 
The Sara Foundation fosters independence and helps those with different types of disabilities live life to the fullest. Joining me now are Linda Vigorito, the president of Sara Foundation, and Jamie Lazaroff, an advocate for others with disabilities. And Jamie is also the keynote speaker at the upcoming Sara Gala. Welcome both of you to Connecticut Style. Thank you, Thank Teresa. You. So, Jamie, you have roots here at News 8, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, I, I, um, won an M I was nominated for an Emmy Award for, for our coverage of the 1995 Special Olympics World Summer Games that was right here in New Haven. So. Oh, that's so impressive. Yeah. Wow. And you've uh, continued the reporting, haven't you? Oh, uh, yes. Um, I, I, I worked for Special Olympics International for a couple of years um, doing reports from um, the President's Summit on America's Future. Ah. Back in '97, and and a couple other events, great, um, a couple of the World Games. So, very nice, Linda. Tell us a, a little bit about uh, what Sarah's all about. Well, Sarah is an agency that supports people with uh, different abilities, and we've been around since 1957. And uh, right now, we uh, cover uh, from Milford to uh, Waterford, and we support over 600 people with disabilities. We do birth to three and we cover, we do Special Olympics and all day programs for people uh, to uh, have a meaningful job mm -hmm. uh, as well as residential facilities. I believe we're looking at some pictures right now of people involved uh, oh. in your organization. Um, now, Jamie, I have to ask you, you've uh, gotten a few awards too besides that Emmy nomination. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I have. I um, just recently received the Advocate of the Year from another of our ARCs, um, the ARC of New London County. So Great. that was uh, pretty special. Sure, you know. and you should be proud of that. Uh, so you're going to be the keynote speaker at the gala we're about to talk about. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> what a great honor, though. <laughs> I know. Um, and my uh, um, main message is that people can do whatever they want to do, sure. and um, despite their challenges and uh, um, their abilities, mm -hmm. um, and um, that's. Uh, I'm sure that's you'll it. motivate a lot of people, right? So. <laughs> Linda, tell us about the gala. Uh -huh. How can people get involved? Well, um, the gala is this Thursday. Okay. And um, we have. Uh, over almost 300 people coming to the gala. We still have a few tickets left. Okay. And um, you can always get involved with Sarah through our recreation program, volunteering. But the gala is a wonderful, wonderful event. And Jamie's just going to knock it out of the park with, with his <laughs> speech. We first uh, talked to Jamie in, um, he was at our annual meeting in this fall, and he did a wonderful job. You were he, hooked, he, right? <laughs> we, I, we were just hooked right from the beginning. You had us from the get-go, Jamie. And um, he just is such an inspirational speaker, and, and I think you can tell from what he said here. Sure. It's just going to be great. Um, the gala starts at 5.30, doors open at the wonderful Woodwinds. Oh, and, great. And um, we have uh, an extended uh, beverage and uh, hors d'oeuvre hour with... Uh, over 150 items for silent auction, a great buffet. And we know that Chef Silvio oh, is such a fantastic fabulous, uh, cook. Fabulous. That'll oh, be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were looking at some pictures from uh, last year's event. Uh, it seems fantastic. Let's put all the information up on the screen here in case anyone is interested with uh, those last few tickets. The Sarah Gala is happening on May 3rd at Woodwinds in Brantford. Go to sarahfoundation.org for more info, or you could simply call 203-453-6531. All right. Linda, Jamie, thank you so much for being thank here you, and Teresa. sharing your story. Teresa, it's been great. All right, stay with us. More Connecticut Style after the break. We'll be right back. Marvin windows and doors mean more to the people that choose them because they do more for their homes than any other window. Only Marvin combines a century of industry-leading design innovation with unmatched quality, durability, and energy efficiency for exceptional value. Which Marvin will be your Marvin? Visit Ring Zen today to see Marvin products in everyday settings. Offering consultation and installation services, our professionals will craft a design that fits your home. Visit RingZen.com or call 800-390-1000 for your nearest location. If you have satellite and slow DSL, you've been missing out. 
With Xfinity On Demand, you get more than just new releases. You get thousands of free movies and TV shows that you can watch anytime, on TV, or you can stream them online with Xfinity Internet. It's your TV and Internet working together to surround you with the ultimate entertainment experience, only from Xfinity. Satellite and slow DSL have nothing like this. Call 1-877-342-6509 and switch to Xfinity TV, Internet, and Voice for $89.99 a month for 12 months. And with Stream Picks included, you can stream hit movies and entire past seasons of your favorite shows instantly on your TV, laptop, iPad, or iPhone, all from the fastest internet provider in the nation, according to PC Mag. Call 1-877-342-6509 and switch to Xfinity from Comcast for $89.99 a month for 12 months with no term contract. Plus, get stream picks included for a year. If you have satellite and slow DSL, see what you've been missing. Bring home the ultimate entertainment experience with Xfinity. Call 1-877-342-6509 today. You know, maybe the modern way of finding love, but can online dating services really use science to help you meet your mate? Or are you wasting your money looking for love online? Yeah. We'll find out. Jim uh. Avila investigates. <laughs> In Cleveland, Autumn Davidson is single and writes about her dating frustration on her website, 30somethingsingle.com. I hoped I'd meet someone that could be my soulmate and we'd have a lot of things in common. These days, she's writing a lot about the claims she's seen on eHarmony commercials. Researchers developed a scientifically validated system of quantitative algorithms that matches singles. Based Autumn paid $59 a month for the service, took two hours to fill out the questionnaire, but after a handful of dates, she's not buying the science. It didn't seem scientific at all the way they matched me. Autumn may be on to something. According to a recent study by this professor of psychology who runs the Relationship Institute, a love lab studying marriage at UCLA. Online dating sites are very unlikely to have the power to make better choices for you than you could make yourself. eHarmony is proud of its methods, boasting that it creates more love in the world every day and is responsible for an average 542 marriages a day because of its matches. The former CEO told ABC News two years ago, I think of our algorithm as a starting point. You know, it's a way to say to the user, here are a whole bunch of matches that you're compatible with. eHarmony points out Professor Carney has never seen the actual science that goes into their love formula because it's secret. But Carney's 50-page study says that's part of the problem. eHarmony and others claim scientific results, but won't provide evidence those hefty questionnaires actually use science to find a better match, since the answers cannot be verified. People aren't always honest. It's a shock, I know, but it's a, it's, it, people aren't always honest about themselves, especially in the context of intimate relationships. He says men often fudge their height, women their weight and age. The guys that I met, there was no cameras to do with. Leaving Autumn still frustrated in Cleveland. Oh, wait, well, <laughs> sorry, I was doing a little online dating and then a little texting thing. Uh, Chef Silvio, if you could please, we've got all of our guests here in the kitchen. Would you please tell them from Cafe Allegro what you have prepared here? Okay, we prepared... Uh, for an appetizer prepare right there, that's a uh, fresh mozzarella. A fresh mozzarella, yeah. Those cheese from balls Campania. are right. Okay, okay. Uh, and and uh, brezaola, which is a specialty from uh, up in north. Uh, and so, and, and for an entree, we made a filet rossini, torn tornado rossini, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> which is uh, filet mignon with uh, foie gras pâté and uh, mushroom cap. We're going to give with that the red a wine shot. sauce. And Sounds the creme great. brulee. All oh. right. Hey, thanks, everybody. Have a great day. And always remember, do it with style. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.